AM 970 WSTX. All right, it's Thursday. Great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent Thursday. And you have reflections here with Doug Canton on WSTX AM 970. Hey, I have a, I have a guest here. Uh, and I'm expecting some more people in the process to come in and talk, have a seat, put on the headphone, and let's go here. We have uh, some things that's been going on here in St. Croix, and we have some organizations in particular who have kind of been at the forefront, okay? One of which is Clean Sweep Frederickstead with Virginia, I keep wanting to say Virginia Wilder, Virginia Claremont. <laughs> okay, all right, but Virginia Powerful, whichever, it's the same Virginia, anyhow. Uh, we also have Clean Up St. Croix right. with Julia, Julia okay. And Luciana. okay, <laughs> and we have also Christian Stead Community Alliance. And between those three organizations, there have been a lot of cleanup initiatives going on here on St. Croix that we can be proud of because in the end, we end up with a, a nice, beautiful place, a cleaner place to live. Anyhow, we have a guest here that is representing all of these organizations and more. <laughs> so at this point in time, I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself and let's get the conversation going. Okay. Well, my name is Jen Valulis. I actually work for the St. Croix Environmental Association. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Forgive me. I didn't yep. call the name. No, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you All gave right. me a chance to introduce myself. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, as you mentioned, I'm mm. working with Virginia and Julia. We all, we all have the same goal. We want to make St. Croix beautiful. We want to protect our environment. And so really we're just all working together for the same goal um we do we do cleanups as well but um our role has really been as educators um you know we reach a lot of students each year um hundreds of them and uh, so we in addition to some of the cleanups we really like to tell students uh, why litter is bad why it affects them and and you know why why you want to take that extra couple of seconds to put the trash in the trash can rather just than just throwing it on the ground. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's that's kind of our role. Although, like I said, it's all we all work together um, to support each other. Okay, what's what's the what's the website for uh, for C? It's stxenvironmental.org. STX Environmental. Mm -hmm. That's right. .org. Okay, because mm -hmm. folks, we have it right here to to bring up on the screen. Let me see if I, I got it right. Uh, I'm, I got a typo. Got a typo. <laughs> got a typo. All right. The, the, the big finger them. Yeah, that, I know. That's the best thing here. <laughs> I know. Okay. Let me see if I got it right now. That's <laughs> still I got it right. What? Okay, my goodness. <laughs> Let's, let's, let me look at the big screen so I could see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the problem, you know, folks. You're so accustomed Put to... Put your those, glasses on. You know? <laughs> but that's for close-up reading and uh, stuff, but it's oh, easier okay. for us. <laughs> STXenvironmental.org. Yep. Let, me, let me see if I, I got it going on now. Because the, the other thing here is um, I got to have my internet connection. Ah, uh, there you Okay, because I've been... Um, Okay, here we go. We're going to be right on it here now. <laughs> now, one of the things that I, mm -hmm. I, I want to say that I, I see that uh, St. Croix Environmental has been doing is they, they've been having these various programs for young people mm -hmm. uh, in, in regards to the environment, giving them an opportunity to get hands-on exactly. and eyes-on and see. Exactly. And, and I want to, to commend you all for, for doing that, first of all. Thank you. And I want to tell you that... Um, WSDX is the most in, uh, environmentally community-minded station yeah. on St. Croix. Yeah. So whenever you got stuff going on, let us know okay, so that we, we can will. help to pitch it to the public so we could have 
even greater attendance and, right. and participation, okay? Right. You hear that, folks? <laughs> WSTX, the most environmentally community-minded station on St. Croix. All right. <laughs> and let who want to challenge that, let them challenge. Well, yeah. We co we, we're coming oh, there. we can have a competition. That, Everybody will hey, become tell environmentally me about minded. It. Tell me about it. Okay. So you got some events coming up that, right. that you young ladies have gotten together and team up to, exactly. to, to, to deal with. Talk to me. Okay. Well, I'll start with, with C's events. Um, these are events that we've had going on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, the first is on April 19th and 20th, and it's the 23rd annual Eco Fair. Okay. Um, this is a program at the Botanical Gardens, the St. George uh, Botanical Gardens, mm -hmm. where we have as many third, fourth, fifth, and sixth graders come to the Botanical Gardens and learn about the environment. And so we have presenters uh, from the community, from environmentally, you know, uh, environmental organizations, uh, from government organizations, um, coming to talk to them about different aspects of the environment. We also have volunteers that, you know, just really are excited to work with kids and teach them more about the environment. And so, for example, um, we have the Fish and Wildlife Service is coming to teach kids about turtles, but we really encourage uh, encourage them to do fun activities. So we have turtle games and uh, VI Waste Management Authority is going to have a big trivia game with prizes. Well, I'm, um. I, I'm a big kid. I'm going to be, I'm going to oh, confess right now. Go. I'm a big kid. I love fun activities, okay? And kid, right. if it ain't fun, the, the, the kid kids get bored quick. Exactly. <laughs> you got to keep exactly. it fun. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So um, it's been a real great success in the past. We also have, um, well, there's two other things that are part of it that's really fun. We have um, Kevin Ryan, who is a local singer, um, and he has a whole couple of songs that he does, uh, uh, he's written for this event for kids, mm -hmm. and they're going to be singing along with him and then also writing their own song. Um, and then the other big thing that goes along with that is uh, VI Waste Management Authority has a litter stomp where they have third and fourth graders on April 19th gather at Sunshine Mall. Um, they all make banners and posters ahead of time that say stomp out litter or, you know, with great slogans about keeping St. Croix clean. Mm -hmm. And that's a competition as well with prizes. Um, and then they march from Sunshine Mall to the gardens um, along Center Line Road with, a, you know, they have a, a fire truck and, you know, an escort and they make a lot of noise. So um, definitely, you know, if you have students in that age group, I encourage you to sign up. You can contact me at C. My number is 773-1989. Um, or you can, um, if you don't have a student of that age, Go out and cheer these kids on, you know, give them an audience. Uh, so it's between Sunshine Mall and uh, the Botanical Gardens, about nine, between 9 and 10 o'clock. Okay, well, so. be before you leave here, I'm going to give you an email address, and I want you to send me a, a, a little summary okay. of these events. You got it. Because I want to include them. You, you heard what I was doing here earlier, yeah. talking about what's going on in the community. And there's nothing worse than find out there was something you wanted to go to. I hate that. I know. After. I know. You read about it in the paper. You're <laughs> like, oh, I would have I gone. <laughs> All right. And, you know, so, and, and I'm hearing about waste management involvement. I'm always yeah. happy to hear uh, about waste management and public works and DPNR and the fire yep. folks jumping in and helping. So you got to give kudos to these folks. Absolutely. Yeah, the, there is a long list of people for EcoFair. Yeah, because they see us yeah. trying to help ourselves and they jump right in and say hey absolutely. that's what we're here to do to help you absolutely okay absolutely. Right. fantastic okay um, and uh, folks that you when you go to st. Croix environmental.org there are various things you could see one of which is they do have a calendar of events on there also and uh, you know and I see that um, we have a 30th anniversary coming up yes uh, C has been around for 30 years Wow. Um, yeah and uh, so we are having, we're throwing ourselves a birthday party. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be this Sunday um, out at Southgate Coastal Reserve, which is, um, if you don't know, it's a coastal reserve that sea runs. Um, it's a protected area. There's a lot of great wildlife. Sea turtles nest along there, lots of uh, birds. It's been recognized internationally as an important bird area. It, how do you get to it? Right there by the church, across the street? Or how, how do you actually get to it? So, um, 
it's just there's a driveway and mm -hmm. it's it's east of Cheeseburgers and west of Cheney Bay. So right, on that long okay, stretch, that road, right, there's a right. road there. I know for a long time it's been in really bad shape. We just had it fixed up, so mm. it's just a, a dirt road. Um, okay. Unfortunately, there's no sign. Uh, we had signs. Okay. They've walked off. <laughs> well, make <laughs> and, and make sure the day of the event that you have your signs and balloons yes. and everything else, so yes. that we can find it to, to get there. Yes. Yeah. But so, uh, congrats. Congratulations Thank to Cinco you. Environmental Association. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we have, um, it's going to be fun. We have a couple of contests, um, including a sand sculpture contest mm -hmm. where oh. people can build con uh, a sand sculpture. And uh, a lot of local businesses have donated prizes, um, Lyric Sales, uh, Una More, Caribbean uh, Adventures, and uh, Virgin Kayak. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. And I see. I see that later on in, in the month, a couple of events here. You got the uh, Crucian Literary Elimination yes. Action. No, clean, <laughs> clean. <laughs> clean. Okay, folks. When you hear the word clean, think Crucian Liter Elimination Action. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we can just share that into everybody's brain. Exactly. We'd be so far ahead. I okay. Know. So I see at the 23rd and 24th, this is in right. support of the um, a triathlon or? Sort or? of. It's, it's in conjunction with the triathlon, although I would love to, I'd love to expand it. Um, so what it is, is it's groups volunteer to clean a piece of road along the triathlon route, which is actually 56 miles. So it's a long. You know, you just reminded me of something. So yes. I, I want to segue for a quick second, sure. but, but we're on the same subject. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to reach out to... Department of Education, the complex, okay, um, Department of Health, all right? Anyone who's listening at this time, over at the complex track, I saw four tires, and they're not used for exercise. They're there in the bush, one of them leaning up, and it's full of water, okay? In this day of, of Zika, Dengue, and what the other funny up name one is? Chicken Ganya. <laughs> okay? All right, and this just came back to me, folks. Please, somebody, today, please, get them tires out of there. Or better yet, if you can't move them, if you can't move them, go with your electric drill, with your battery power drill, and bore some hole in it so those, that water will drain out. Please, please, we got to take care of us. Department of Health, Complex Department of Education, okay? And senators... Governor, we're going to be talking about this track facility, okay? Because we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to do better, okay? So we don't need clean up St. Croix and uh, uh, Frederickstead and um, uh, Clean Street Frederickstead and, and uh, Christian said Community Alliance and St. Croix Environmental Association to tell us this. This is a no brainer. If you leave, tires are wrong they're gonna get water in them if they get water and then you're gonna get mosquito you're gonna get mosquito Ch chances are dengue chicken ganya zika you know folks i hope somebody hear me out there so that when i go out now and leave here and follow up it gonna already be taken care of when you go down to the to the to the uh stands you go all the way to the end like you're heading east at the stand and you'll see where they came in with something cleaning up in preparation, I guess, for Relay for Life coming up. You know, I, I'm glad that you're jumping in there and helping the folks for Relay for Life to make sure that the track is at its best. But one of the things we got to stop doing is only cleaning up the place for these special events. We need to do it all the time. I mean, you know, you probably know how I feel about whoever would go and dump four tires in the vicinity of our track and field area at the complex. I ain't gonna go into that. I might get censured for my expressions on the air. Okay, I'm very upset with that. But we have to be proactive now that we know it's there. Please help. Down at the complex, somebody please get them tires out of their boreholes in them so the water don't stay in them. Something. It's our health, it's our children, it's our community. Thank you. Sorry about that, but no, I just had to get that one out. I'm glad you did. I think it's actually, you know, you, you make a good point where I think if, if people dump trash and then they just think nobody notices, you know, whatever, it's just there. 
But if they get called out like this, maybe they're less likely to do it in the future. Well, I, I hope. You know, <laughs> one of the things that I do is I, I keep my cell phone handy. Uh -huh. When I go in down the road, I don't hesitate to put it on the car to see what's going on. Yeah. Okay? And I, and I say that because if, if I catch you in the footage throwing that bag out the car, it going on the internet. I, I don't care who you be. Yeah. License plate and all because truth is an absolute defense. You could sue me all you want to, but when the judge get in there, the judge gonna say, you know what? Um, what he's saying is true. That's your car. That's the bag coming out the window, and it's trash. Boom! It done. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But what? What I? I, I don't want to shame anyone. What I really want is education of our young people in a way that they change their habits. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And I say that you know one of the the things that we use. Uh, in giving these young people drinks sometimes as they cap the sun. And they pull off the thing with the straw, they pull out the straw and they throw down the plastic, yes. just like that. Oh my and, gosh. And it's become a, a habitual thing is to throw away and just throw down. And these are things that the police can't do anything about, DPNR can't do anything, uh, Department of Health can't, you know who can? Mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, guardian. Yes. Those are the people who can do something about it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, anyhow, yeah. For, yeah. forgive me for jumping on the soapbox. No, in the I'm glad. I'm <laughs> glad you're, you're excited about this because it's, it's a right. big deal. So, you know? we have um, a special day coming up. What's that? Say the Earth Day. Yes. Of course. <laughs> All right. I know you were just right. testing me to see. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you were just testing me. I was like, I did I forget somebody's birthday again? <laughs> no, 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 no. You were yeah. just testing me. But yeah, but seriously, <laughs> tell us a little bit about that that okay. event and what what you all have planned. Sure. Um. So. Th Earth Day itself, I think uh, the exact date is uh, Friday, April 22nd. Um, okay. We don't have, uh, C doesn't have anything for that day, but we are working with Clean Sweep Frederickstead um, to combine our events. I talked about the Eco Fair, talked a little bit about uh, Project Clean. Uh, Clean Sweep Frederickstead has some great uh, events going on. Um, they are going to do uh, an adopt a spot. So, uh, similar to Clean, you adopt a spot in mm -hmm. Frederickstead and you clean it up. Um, Virginia is planning a, um, a tree planting in Frederickstead mm -hmm. and also a um, like an environmental forum. Um, the, the details are sort of coming together on this and mm -hmm. so um, I would ask people to stay tuned. Um, and well, that's that's the whole idea. Yeah. It's to plant the seed from now, exactly. no pun intended, yeah. plant the seed from now <laughs> <laughs> so that when the right. time comes everybody's going to be ready to, to jump on and, exactly. and join right in with what, right. what we're doing. Okay. Um, there yeah. is a website. So as we as we get these things planned, it's uh, Saint Croix Earth Week Festival dot org. Saint Croix Earth Week Festival. See now you 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 you're going to test my my, uh -huh. my fingers <laughs> again. Saint Croix Earth Week uh -huh. Festival dot org. Org. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's see if I. I think I got First it. Try. Got it. First try. First <laughs> try. All right. All right. I'm getting better here. I'm getting better. I'm not going to have <laughs> to go take any remedial classes right. here. I'm getting better. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we see here we've got uh, St. Croix Earth Week Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have some th stuff here that was posted on the, on the 5th. Okay. Right. And you're going to have Adopt a Spot Day is uh, Sunday, April 17th from 7 to 10. Right. And then the 23rd, the annual Earth Day Eco Fair and, and Litter Stamp. We got look that's, into that. That's actually the 19th and the, the 20th. The 19th and the right. Okay. Um, and um, the 23rd. Okay, I'm saying the 23rd. It's 19th. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. Yep. And um, okay, so folks, you can go to St. Croix Earth Week Festival dot org and check it out now one of the things and I'm, I'm sure between these organizations your organization uh, we really need tree maintenance and protection here yes okay because we're planting Agreed. trees but whenever somebody goes up to a tree and pong a nail into the tree just to put up a poster or coming down in a week yep or two yep we're killing the tree I know I know. Okay. I know. And and so we've got to come up with some mechanism by which 
we can cut down on these type of things being done on the tree. I, I know Dr. Ruth Beagles had a, um, a campaign that she went on against uh, folks using trees as signposts. Yep. And she had put together a book of all the places where she had taken pictures of where folks were there abusing the trees, uh -huh. doing these things. And it was quite effective. For a long, long time, we got folks to stop doing this stuff, but it's creeping back. It's yep. going on again. Yep. The other thing is that I know in Washington, D.C., you dare not cut any part of a tree unless you go and get the appropriate permit That's right. or engage the appropriate agency to come and do what needs to be done. That's right. And I say that every time I come around the corner there ac uh, across the street from Coca-Cola when you're heading down toward Plaza, uh -huh. and I see that big mahogany tree that was mm -hmm. cut down. You see the little flat piece yes, left of it. Yes. And I'm wanting to know, did somebody authorize that? Or right. Or did someone just take it upon themselves to do that? Yep. Because all of those trees should be like historical monuments that are unique and descriptive of St. Croix. And you don't cut one of those things unless you get proper authorization Absolutely. to do it. Okay. There's actually a law that a number of people have been working on for, for, for a while, for a couple of years, called the tree law, VI tree mm -hmm. law. I'm not sure what the status of it is, but it addresses all of those issues. You know, how do we take care of our trees? Who, what trees can be cut down? You, what you know, do you need? Without uh, calling any names to protect the innocent, you know who's working on it? It's, it's a group of people. So okay. they're getting, to, you know, Department of Ag, DPNR. I, I would be DPI. interested in knowing a little bit more about that. Okay. And, and I, I say that because ultimately, mm -hmm. you're going to need the support of the community to make it happen. Absolutely. All right? Yep. It, this, this is, uh, folks, we, we, we're struggling here with folks blasting music <laughs> in front of a church trying to hold a ceremony. <laughs> yes. Okay, they put the speakers in the car face and out the window. And the only way we're going to stop these kind of things is if we, the community, band up and say enough is enough. Yep. The other day, I saw a car that has speakers mounted underneath the back. You know where some of these SUVs have a trailer hitch? Mm -hmm. They have a set of speakers mounted across oh and they're blasting the music. <laughs> you know, if they hit the wrong bump, the whole thing will rip right I off. Know. But <laughs> I, I know. I, I mean, literally. And, and I'm saying, like, okay, you love your music. Well... Have your music in your car with the windows closed. Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, why do you have a right to impose on everybody else? I know. I. You I know, it's bad enough when you're in your car and it's booming in your car and people can hear it through the window even. Yeah. But <laughs> now, I, 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 I am critical in this one context, right? I'm critical of the process in this one context. The, the noise abatement law as far as I'm concerned, is held up for proper measurement devices. Okay? Oh, okay. But the fact of the matter is, you know too loud when you hear it. Yes. So why don't we have warning tickets being given out in the meantime? That's a great idea. When you move in the junk cars, you put a sticker on it to mm -hmm. let people know you got X, Y, Z amount of days to get this on here. We're going with it. Right. And you're going to get fined. Well, why can't we have warning tickets? When these people are doing these things, you give them a warning ticket. That's a great they idea. They could get ticked off all they want to, but just know that in a little bit, it won't be a warning ticket next time. Exactly. Well, that way, too, when you finally get the equipment needed, You've warned them, you know, you Ex don't have to start with the warning. You've already done that, exactly. so you can go exactly, exactly. into action. Exactly, yeah. exactly, okay? Because we need people to understand that this is serious business. This isn't yes. just talk. This is something that we are going to do, and you can heed us now or heed us later. Exactly. It'll just cost you more later. Exactly. Okay? Yep. So um, the, the other thing now, uh, Synchro Environmental... Um, are you guys in any way involved or otherwise in partnership with the government in picking up the junk cars around the place? No, we aren't. Okay. Um, well, yeah. uh, you know, I, I'm just saying that in, yeah. in the context of just plain networking, I'm, I'm happy to hear. Uh -huh. I'm happy to hear what they plan to do. 
I'll be happier to see <laughs> it happening. Yes. Okay? Because mm -hmm. it got a car right up the street from where I live, Dele Park, next to our property there for us for the longest while. Okay? And we're not just talking rain going in and the possibility of mosquitoes. We're talking about rats. Yeah. And oh. all these other things. Yeah. Yeah. So this isn't about neighbor or man down the road or or, or, or who knows living in Fredericksburg and got a vehicle park up here. Me ain't got nothing personal with you per se. But when you gonna come and do this, you telling me that you have something personal with me. Right. Right. You gonna come and disrespect my neighborhood that's exactly what it is it's disrespectful you know? and you're going to put my family and the other families there at risk with rats running around right okay. well and then all the the um chemicals that are in the car are leaking out onto the ground and washing you know washing down washing into the ocean you know exactly and so it's it, it affects everybody it's not just a small space and it's you know it's not it, it Things happen, it's not just gone. We have to help people to make the connection. Yeah. And I said to make the connection because the runoff going down into the sea, get into the smaller animals, the bigger animals, even bigger animals, fish, right. and so forth and so on in the sea. And then it comes and then back we, to And us. then we can't go out, catch fish, and exactly. you know, fry it up, and mm, it just ready, can't wait to rip into it, or steam it, or whatever you do. <laughs> but what are you doing if you're poisoning the fish in a way that doesn't kill them and then turn around and eating the poison what are you doing but a lot of people don't make the connection no they don't you're right a lot of people will say i going to kill tantan i am going to put diesel in a spray bottle and spray it on well the problem is the nature of diesel is going to run down to the ground yep. if what you're using doesn't have a, um a biodegradable, a, a quick biodegradable type of, of life, right. then what you're saying is that it's going to get to the ground and go down in the ground. So you might kill that one tantan, but you're going to poison the ground. Exactly. Now, yep. and I say that, folks, I have to deal with tantan too. <laughs> and let me tell you how I deal with it, mm -hmm. right? I chop them at the bottom, I take my drill, I drill a hole, and I put a little bit of the, the, the poison the volume in that hole. Right. It kills the plant, not poison the ground. Exactly. Okay? Because yeah. we know that the plants breathe through the leaves, so if you put it on the leaves, the plant is going to die. Mm -hmm. But while you're putting it on the leaves, it's going everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, St. Croix Earth Day Festival. Okay. I am happy to hear about this event coming up, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing uh, it. The, 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 the wheels start to turn, and more and more people involved. Um, in terms of your events, do you have any particular corporate sponsors that are stepping up to the plate and assisting you? Um, we're okay. working on it. Okay, no, no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah. you probably do, uh -huh. and I'm asking the question, being devil's advocate, uh -huh. because part I want. Part of what I want you to do is make sure uh -huh. that we get that kind of information so we could give them kudos. Yes. Well, right? actually, I know for sure that we don't right now, and that's been it. We have in the past, as mm -hmm. everyone knows, you know, St. Croix has been going through a difficult time. And right. so some of the sponsors are not able to give in the way they did in the past. Okay. We have a caller here. Good morning, Reflections, WSDX. Yeah. Uh, am I on the air? Yes, who would you like to speak to? Okay, I was trying to speak to Robert, our brother. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, <laughs> all right, one minute. I can't see them at the moment, so. Uh, brother R. Brother R in the house, you got a call. I do? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Brother R, we have a, a, a sh the show that comes on. After my usually Robert Moorhead is a guy, but it seems like Brother R is standing in for him. All right, I gotta move the chair just so he could stand. <laughs> okay, and his thing is, you know, get comfortable, put your hair back, put your feet up, and talk to me on his show. Okay, <laughs> but um, 
it, it's really important that we do these things. And now, keep in mind, as a radio station, the radio station life is based on advertising, right? right. So yes, we do need advertisers, but also as a community-minded station, we don't mind giving kudos like this. Okay. Because we want to see the corporate citizenry set up, step up to the plate and otherwise support these nonprofits that are there for our young people, our environment, our organization are doing positive things in the community, definitely. So that's the context in which I act. So yes. just know that WSDX is our community-minded station. We're there to make sure that the people who support you get kudos so that they will support you and others in the process, knowing that it will be recognized and otherwise appreciated. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, maybe uh, maybe someone will hear this and, uh, you know, maybe we'll get a sponsorship and we will certainly be happy to thank them and All right. give them a De shout out. Definitely. Definitely. So now... Um, you, the, the stamp you were telling me about in conjunction with the, um, the waste management. Right, the litter stomp. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is like an, an, an artistic opportunity for these young people. Yeah, they have um, the uh, Charmin Springer from mm -hmm. VI Waste Management. She's their outreach person. Mm -hmm. um, when people register for the litter stomp ahead of time, she will, um, she will talk to the teachers and she will give them more information and tell them you know, uh, that they can, you know, give them suggestions as to how to um, encourage students to come up with a good slogan and come up with a really good banner, uh, something to hold up, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, so people can see. And, okay. um, and like I said, there's a first, second, and third prizes um, for... I gotta the drag them in here. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. We, got, we gotta talk about this. We yes. gotta get the word out, folks, okay? Yeah. And I'm saying that, that this, this past Saturday, uh, I went with a young man to Home Depot, mm -hmm. you know, and they get to build their, their things. And it, it, it was more than like I went with him because I end up, you know, it kind of was fun with all the other kids and the interacting and everything else. But it's a fantastic opportunity through a, a corporate citizen to get young people positively engaged and feeling good that I built something. Uh -huh. Okay? And, and, and they have all kind of... Uh, painted talent whoa okay i mean <laughs> in the eyes of the beholder <laughs> it's love at first sight <laughs> <laughs> definitely but and, and to watch these these children work and apply themselves diligently to make theirs the best and fit how they want it and i'm saying that we can transfer that energy into areas like environmental concerns Yes. It's just a no-brainer. We've got to do it. Exactly. All exactly. Right. Yeah, that's, you know, as I was mentioning earlier, one of C's other programs uh, is during the school year, we have uh, field days for second graders and for fourth graders. Mm -hmm. And it's an opportunity for classes to come out, um, get outside of the classroom, and we have them at, uh, you know, at, at different natural areas around mm -hmm. the island, Sandy Point, Southgate, Salt River, the Estate Thomas Experimental Forest, and we get them out there and we do lots of, you know, we go for an insect hunt or we learn about litter, we learn about, um, Alassie Davis always does a, you know, a great hike around the forest or a coastal forest hike. Uh, John Farchetti from the East End Marine Park comes okay. and talks I, about I'm, I have you here hostage. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take it as a personal affront. <laughs> and the next time you guys doing this stuff, you all don't tell me about it all personally right. so that I can tout it to the rest of the Virgin Islands so they could get involved. All right. I will take it personally. All right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's great. Man. I'm challenging you on that one. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We got to get the word out, yeah. okay? Because uh, when when you know Olasi Davis is a, a, a detailed person and, and mm -hmm. a non boring person, and he can definitely show these young people things that will open up their eyes. And yeah, yes. I didn't know that. You know, yes. it, these young people they know everything. Right? Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> but no, this is fantastic. So definitely, okay. when you've got stuff going on, keep in in, in mind that as a community minded station, we love to get the stuff out and get people involved. Great. Okay? Can I take uh, the opportunity to tell you about another program? Of course, of course. <laughs> while fun. I'm here. It's your state. Um, we have uh, free snorkel clinics that we offer from April to October, um, once a month. And uh, the first one is actually this Sunday at Southgate. It's at 10 o'clock. 
uh, 10 to 12. And it's totally free. Um, and this one is paid for um, by the Buccaneer. Um, so they're a great partner of ours and they are, they go above and beyond for the environment. And so we really appreciate that. But anyways, this is an opportunity for someone to get comfortable being in the water. We have lifeguards, we have guides with lots of experience. We have multiple guides. So if we have, and, and we welcome anyone of any age, we always have adults that want to learn to snorkel. They've seen it, they know they, they really want to do it, but they're just not comfortable enough to learn on their own. So we have the snorkels, we have life vests, we even bring snacks and water if you work up an appetite. And, um, you know, we'll teach people what it's, you know, to open their eyes underwater and see all the beautiful stuff that we have in our waters around here. Um, if you have a little experience, that's fine. You can come too, because we usually have a couple people with with some experience, but that maybe aren't quite comfortable enough to go on their own, um, or that just, you know, they want to go with someone who's a little more expert of, you know, that can tell them what the, fi the fish are and what the, you know, the critter is. What is it that I'm seeing underwater? So, um, uh, like I said, the first one is April 10th, this Sunday. Uh, the next one will be May 14th, and that one is at Fort Frederick. We try to alternate east Locations. and west. Um, and then from then on, uh, check check our website um, and our Facebook page. Okay, just curious, yes. it, is it always on a Sunday? No, okay, actually this perfect. one, this one, it's usually on a Saturday, um, to always 10 to 12. This one is on a Sunday, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're having our 30th birthday right. party. And okay. You were gonna get me in trouble now, I'm gonna have to go and play hooky for yeah. some <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a great, it's a okay, fun program. Nice. Okay, um, now don't out me and tell me I've been, and, and, and tell everybody I've been playing hooky from Sunday school. Right. Out don't out me, please. Okay, all right. <laughs> you can do an underwater broadcast maybe or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, but that, that sounds very interesting. And and, mm -hmm. and I say that, um, you know, seeing a, a, a couple of young folks that I deal with that have issues with putting their face in the water. And, but at the same time, they need to learn how to properly use the diving mask. Yes, exactly. And how to breathe and, and so forth. And so once they get to that point uh -huh. and open up all the beauty that's underneath there for Absolutely. them to see. Absolutely. It's not a natural thing, you know. You're supposed to hold your breath underwater mm -hmm. and close your eyes and, you know, but you've right. got a mask and a snorkel and you can do both. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, fan fantastic. You know, we've, we've um, talked about quite a, a few things that are going on at sea. Uh -huh. And uh, if there's anything that I want to leave you with is that... I didn't get enough. <laughs> okay? Okay. I didn't get enough. So you have to plan for the return trip. Sure. Bring some other members with you from St. Croix Environmental Association. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about St. Croix Environmental Association. You've got 30 years. Yes. 30 years. Coming up. 30 years coming up. So let me see if we can just jump back here really quick um, to, okay. Yeah, it's pretty neat. We've I'm I'm pretty new to Saint Croix Environmental Association. I've been on Saint Croix for a number of years, um, but for this birthday party, we're learning. I'm learning about all the great stuff C has done, and uh, one of the neat facts that I learned is we've planted over thirty thousand trees on Saint Croix in the thirty years. Are you involved with planting mangroves? Yes, uh, that was a number of years ago in Salt River. Um, a number of years ago. <laughs> Um, please reactivate because uh -huh. a, a number of years later, uh -huh. I don't know if you're noticing, but there's an encroachment on mangroves mm -hmm. that need, somebody needs to blow the conch shell about, okay? Mm -hmm. You got places where you couldn't see ponds and now you can see right through the ponds because people have been cutting down the mangroves. Yes to camp or whatever, right. all right? And I'm saying you can camp without destroying the campground. Yeah, they that's the, what's the they point. They have not made yep. the okay. connection. Okay, good day. Hold on a second. Good day, WSTX Reflections. Good day, and how are you, my brother? I'm doing great, fantastic, outstanding, just plain excellent, and even more so now that you called. <laughs> Is it Carol they're talking? Is it Carol? No, this is Jen. <laughs> Stop, man. Carol should have come there, man. But I know. We don't bring her next so many time. years Carol is living us, you know? I know, I know. We are going to miss her so much. Oh, but I, I'm, I'm not going to miss her because her face is ubiquitous here in St. Croix. 
All the plants, when I see all the plants, she plants all over the yes. place, I see Carol. Yes, exactly, yes. exactly. Every but time. I hear you talking about the people, the children are polluting too, but you know, the greatest polluter and the greatest agency that killed the environment here is the government. Look at in the heart of the agricultural center, see what they build a multi uh, um, a military complex inside there. I never heard you ain't say anything about that. Well, who is the government? Huh? Who is the government? What's that? Who is the government? Who is the government? The government is we and part I, of the problem. I don't think it is not in the Virgin Islands. <laughs> the government is not the people. The government is the the people we elect got more power than us. They don't. We elect them and they just bam. We don't we don't see them. We don't hear from them. So. You see what I'm saying? The government, is, look at, again, look at our, our, our vegetable market. They build a, a fishery there. It, this place is stinking when you go into the market. You mean to tell me so much money the United States, the richest nation in the world, you see what I'm saying? They were big up on, on, on agriculture and that. Fish to clean fish. We, we're supposed to be, I mean, using this all the all the waste of that fish we're supposed to produce organic fertilizer for the farmer yeah but sir let me, let me just share something with you right I right there with you we are on the same sheet I went to the when when they had the the um, the dedication of that fish market there at Kings Hill yes I was there for that okay yes and 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 to me in in retrospect it's such an embarrassment that they would have had a, a, um, a function to dedicate what was uh, 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 not up to par. It just plain was not up to par. Totally under engineered. Totally a disservice because now all that concrete and everything that we pay good money for is just sitting there basically doing nothing because it, it was never designed properly from the very beginning. Okay, so with that one, I have to I have to give it to you that government is the problem. <laughs> Of course, the government, you see, the government is, I, I mean, look at the trees. They call WAPA, they cut all the trees, man. I, you know, there's a place up on um, Anali, we call it the Mango Road. Man, when I pass them, when I see what they did to these trees, I, I, I cried. Well, you yeah. hear me? But you Those know, mango trees has been there, those sentient mango trees that has been there for like almost 200 years. Yep destroy every one of them you know what i mean yeah i hear you i hear you well, it, and the thing is whenever you're going to be cutting trees you have to know about where you're going to plant the ones that are going to come up to replace them and I, I, so it, it's like a lack of vision and we the people perishing and okay? echo fear is dying here in the virgin islands i have been doing that for so many years yeah yeah oh my brother the presenters, we do not have them like we used to have them before. I hear you. I got to big up Miss um, um, Charmin um, Springer. Yes. That oh, that that beautiful lady man is always there for the children. Okay. It's amazing, man. Anyhow, my brother, you're doing a good work, a good job. Most definitely, Carol should have come there with you, you know well, what I mean? Maybe we could get her to come in next we, week to we do should, a little farewell. We should, because she's a man. I'll ask her. I will ask her. You know, we should, really, we should. Okay. Because, like I said, Carol, man, she has done a very, very, very great work here in the Virgin Islands. Okay, sir, we're going to bring them back. But right now, my free paper bun, and they're looking to run me out of here. <laughs> of my brother. One of my brother. Keep up the good work. All right, good, good. <laughs> Folks, it's been great. It's been really great. And I'm so glad that uh, we have a representative here from C that's going to bring more representatives back and we're going to talk about it. And if we can get Carol to just come in and give a, a few words, you know, yeah. she doesn't have to stay here for the whole show. Absolutely. I think the, com I'll drag the community her over. <laughs> would appreciate it. I think so. Okay. Thank you, folks. Next Thursday, Creator Willing, we'll be here with reflections on WSTX. The community-minded station that's the most environmentally community-minded station on St. Croix. See you next Thursday.